Hi, this is an example of how to use slip sheets from a different printer tray when batch printing. To do this, normally you have just files in the list waiting to print and you just print them out. Now to print a slip sheet in between, like a separate page or you call it a banner page, go into options menu, separate a banner page setup. Now in here, I want to do a dynamic uh, banner page which has information populated in the slip sheet. So I'm going to click generate separate file on the fly which fills in the default information. Now to print to another tray what I can do is just use a tray file. So to do this just click on browse and I'm going to right mouse click new text document star.txt and now I'm going to call this tray2.tra that's right so now I'm going to search for tra so I'm going to double click on that file there so that's set up to use tray2 this file is just a blank file it just instructs the software to change the tray on the printer to that exact name that is in there. Now for the separator page if you click V on the template you can see what it's set to. This is a default setting. You can change it to whatever you want. So for example you can remove this information and just have that information there if you wanted to. And you can type in new information what you want. I'm going to save that. It's just a simple RTF file. So now I'm going to save and exit. Click print. So that's printed the separator. And now it's going to print the uh, actual file. So you can see it's printed the separator page first. So that is the information that is pulled in. So it's pulled in that new information I set there and the example. And then it's printed the sample PDF afterwards. It should be for the next file in the list, which is one page.pdf. You can see now it's printed all the files. And that's it. It's that simple to set up. Give it a try.